We're going to talk about safety, how I stay alive. Hopefully I have some tips that can help you stay alive. Well guys, what better place to do a video than headed south down pins. Uh, we're going to talk about safety today. This video is called Staying Alive. First thing, preparation. You're going to want to look at the weather. Uh, weather Underground, there's different apps and stuff for you to be able to look at weather and whatnot. You're also going to want to look at swell. If the ocean's going to be able to let you out there, you got to you got to kind of let the ocean dictate what it's going to do. You try to press it and you're going to wind up dead. Uh, like I said, weather underground, uh, magic seaweed, swell info. There's different apps on there that are going to give you wind, surf, tide, everything that you need to research and prep. And that's a big part of the way that I do this and stay alive, guys, is I, I research everything and I prep. I let the ocean tell me when it's good to go. I don't try to force anything. Next, we're going to discuss a paddle plan. You need it like, I know there's guys that'll tell you, I don't go offshore by myself. Well, that's fine and good, you know, but every once in a while, if you want to do this, you're going to have to go by yourself. So you want to have a paddle plan. You want to be able to tell your wife, your significant other, your brother, whoever, whoever you have, make sure they know where you're going to be and make sure you stick with that. Don't tell them you're going to be somewhere you're not, especially if you're going solo. Even if you're going with a couple of buddies, make sure someone knows where you're going to be at. Uh, it's very important. All right, guys. <laughs> right now, I'm going to touch on the taboo. Uh, paddling solo. I do it. A uh, long time ago, when I first started this whole deal, I couldn't find anyone to go with me. I wanted to do this so bad, and I saw guys like Professor Salt doing it, and uh, I, the drive was just too much, and I ended up doing it. It's not that bad. It, there's a there's a couple of things that you're gonna. I don't advise it, but people are gonna do it. So I'm gonna talk about it because I do it right now. I'm out here by myself. I have a, I've prepped. I know what the conditions are. I've got a paddle plan. So this is my thoughts on going solo. If you wait for everyone's plans to line up, including friends, family, whatever, you're never going to go. That's just the, the honest to God truth, guys. If you have to, it's hard enough for me personally to, to link up, my, to make my plans, much less worry about someone else. It's just very hard to line up your plans with someone else's plans. Every once in a while, you're going to have to go solo. If you can go with someone, that's great. If you can't, I'm going to talk about it here. I know a lot of guys say uh, you should never go solo. You should never do this. Well, I'm not that guy. I go solo. So I'm not going to sit here and be a hypocrite and say that I don't. I do. Biggest thing that I do to stay safe, PFD. Right there it is. Personal flotation device. I also carry a offshore radio. This will, in an emergency, reach the Coast Guard, reach boats, other paddlers. It's waterproof. I keep that on me. Here real quick, I'll show you on my life vest here. I also keep my phone on me. So your radio and your phone need to stay on you. If you become separated from your kayak out there, they're not going to do any good if they're in your kayak. So you need to have a waterproof phone or some way to waterproof your phone. And this radio right here see what I'm saying offshore radio standard horizon it's not super expensive uh, it'll reach the Coast Guard reach other boats if you need to reach out and get some help so this could be a lifesaver right here on my PFD I keep a knife I keep a couple of knives on me but this one's directly secured to my vest right there it's an NRS other thing that I keep in my vest leashed to me a good set of pliers and it's leashed inside my vest right there a couple of ways to cut line if you get line wrapped around you if you get hooks in you and you have to push one through or pull one out or cut one off it's gonna happen out there guys if you've been out there long enough it's just one of those things you need to be able to deal with it 
Another thing I always do is I have stuff that I can use for a tourniquet. So my kayak belt is a nylon belt. In worst case scenario, I uh, had a little training at my job on tactical medical stuff. You could use that belt for a tourniquet. You could use your leashes for a tourniquet if you had to stop the bleeding real quick, if you got cut or something like that. So having that stuff is always a good idea. You can see I got my pliers right there. My knife right here, strapped on. It comes out real easy. You can see that right there. And my radio. It's strapped and leashed right there. Also keep a whistle to get people's attention. I've got a little mirror that I keep in my kayak as well. In case you have to signal someone. But there's my life jacket. Something bad happens, guys. That's the number one thing that's going to keep you alive right there. Your life jacket. Your PFD, whatever you want to call it. Alright, guys. Besides my life jacket, my PFD, my knife, my first aid stuff, everything that I've, that I've got, another thing that you're going to need is water. Make sure you have enough water. Cooler, whatever. You want to stay hydrated out there. It's a, a, a very important thing. Also, if you get seasick, even if you don't, Dramamine, one of those deals behind the ear, you don't want to get sick out there and mess up your fishing trip, much less make it where you can't get back. A little first aid kit wouldn't hurt either uh, if you can fit it on there and keep it waterproof. Like I said, if anything goes wrong with uh, what the way I'm using it, I'm going to use whatever I can to stop bleeding, whether it be a leash on my kayak, my kayak belt, something like that. Uh, you could you could really stop the blood flow really quick and use it as a tourniquet another big thing guys Don't go out there and surf launch with hooks attached to your rods uh, Same thing returning take the time Pull those hooks off there so you don't have any problems getting hooks in you if you flip a kayak on a surf launch Or a surf return or whatever take the time to take those hooks off there So you don't have that problem um, It'll make all the difference between you getting hooks in you or whatnot you want it keep it keep it leashed because it's gonna come off and you're gonna lose some stuff lastly I can't say it enough guys when you're out here and you're paddling through this surf and you're dealing with fish and everything else I'm guilty of it myself but try to keep your head on a swivel always be watching around watching for storms watching for lightning watching for anything boats traffic you just never know what's going to happen out there and if you're not paying attention it could cost you and it could cost you big especially if you let a bad storm creep up on you or something like that you just as far as the storms is what i can advise use your gut instincts use your gut instincts on a lot of this stuff because your gut instincts will save you they've saved me more than once trust your gut what's going on if you you have a bad feeling about something do something about it but watch these storms keep your head on a swivel know your limitations know when you're done and you need to stop um, you have to know your limitations out here it's a uh, very important uh, you know if you if you push yourself too hard out here it could be bad so know your limitations and finally just have fun that's what it's all about God put this out here for us to enjoy guys I, I feel closer to God out here than any place in the, on the face of this planet. Uh, I was telling some friends, this place will humble you. It will humble you quick and make you see exactly how small and infinitesimal you are in the grand scheme of things on the face of this planet. That's what's amazing about this. It keeps me humble. Uh, if I can help any of you guys, drop me a line in the comments. I'd be happy to help you. Anyway, hope this video helped you out. Killer B out.